Hey Finksters, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Finksters.com and in today's video you are going to learn about Python's has attribute function. So how does it work? Uh, very simple, the function takes two arguments. The first argument is an object um, for which you want to check whether the object has an attribute. The second one is a string representation of the attribute to check. So it's not the attribute name itself. You don't pass the name of the attribute, you pass a string that is the that you want to check whether the object actually has this attribute or not. So let's have an example in our code share. Um, say you have a class car and the class, now this is the constructor of the class. First argument is always the self argument and now it may have um, a brand name for example. Yeah? And now you set self brand to brand. Now every class, you uh, every car you create will have an attribute brand, right? Because you create the instance attribute brand and uh, for example, you, we could create a Porsche. So we uh, in, in Germany, um, Porsche is more common than Tesla. So I always use the Porsche examples um, and we can create a, a car like a Porsche and now we can check print um, the car Porsche has an attribute, has the attribute say brand. So we check for the attribute brand now and then we um, simply run the function has attribute. We pass our object instance like Porsche here and we pass the name of the attribute as a string value. Okay, and uh, this, this means that we, we pass like in quotes, we pass brand. So some people try this one. They just, they, they pass the, the instance and they pass the expected attribute name, but this will lead to, to an error message yeah? because brand is not defined at this point. So it is an unexpected, okay, now this is an another mistake. So closing this. So if you run this, uh, Python will give you the error me message in it, missing one required positional argument brand. And um, so this one is actually, um, this is a name that is not defined. So therefore it uh, throws an error because because it like passes an, an, like an empty name or a name that doesn't exist into the has attribute function. So you want to enclose it with a quotation to you. Uh, the has attribute function expects a string value. So you pass the string value and now we um, execute the code and we see um, has attribute Porsche. Ah, okay, okay, sorry. We have to pass the brand name here. Um, let's pass the brand name like this. Okay, and run this. Good, okay, so uh, so this one, the car Porsche has the attribute brand and this is true, okay? So, so we correctly um, guess the attribute name. And this was also the, the mistake, this was the mistake of the first error message that we <laughs> that I actually didn't pass the Porsche here. Uh, it expects like the constructor in it, it expects one argument apart from the self argument that is always passed implicitly and it expects a brand argument and I didn't give it. So the error was already here and it actually didn't even check this error, this uh, this part here. So let's try this again. And you see now brand is not defined. It's not, a, it's a variable that is not defined. So this was what I wanted to show you before. Good, and um, so interestingly, if we define a method, say we define a um, method change brand. So we have a supercar that is able to change a brand and we pass a new brand name and we set self brand to new brand, something like this. Okay, so we have, we have a method that actually changes the brand and now we can actually check change brand as an attribute. So this one, uh, this one is actually a method name. It's not an attribute itself, but we still check it. We still uh, try, we still check whether Porsche has the attribute change uh, brand. And now let's see what is the result. The result is still true. Okay, why is that? Because um, because uh, method names are just, uh, Python just uses method names uh, similarly as uh, attributes. Okay, so actually there's no, um, no, um, implicit difference. Why? Because a method is simply um, is simply a method is a function uh, which is an object. So we so we have a 
an attribute can be either function object or it can be so some object some attributes are callable and these are the methods then and you can over or you can you can set actually you can set any object as a callable object and then you can call this object and you use it as a method so there's no no difference in this way okay so you can with has attribute you can also check whether a function uh, actually is associated uh, with a given name is associated to the object uh, for which you want to check it so does it always return true? No, of course not. So if you have a method like um, uh, we check for the attribute color, for example, color doesn't exist yet. So um, it returns false. Okay, so that's it. That's about the method has attribute uh, in Python. Thanks for listening to this video and see you in the next video. Bye.